people, I'm shocked really. You know, we have not no trouble at all here for years. Like I said, I've had the window smashed, but no noise, no nothing, no trouble with children and nothing. It's, been, it's a very, very peaceful village. You know, but for my daughter to bring me from Ruska, and her daughter rang her, thought I'd know like. Well, if she hadn't rang, I wouldn't have known. So you didn't hear anything no, last night? No, no, no. That's all I can tell you, Pat. I said there's a TV van outside. And then you realised what had happened? Oh, yeah, because then, then the lady said there, there was two people dead. Oh, uh, well, why? I don't know. But we have heard there's druggies down there. So we can just take it from there, eh? Came down to work, a uh, normal route. And as I went to pull in at the first junction to come down into the I Street, and it was blocked off. Like, um, I thought it would be roadworks there. But as I come across the top end, it was the same on the other side. So I went up towards uh, Markham to turn round to come back down. And I couldn't see anybody like or any um, like roadworks vehicles, so I thought I'd come down the hill to see what's around. And then I seen all the police and I down with there. And my boss was out there and ready to open up. So I just left my car halfway up the hill and walked down there. And when you realise, you know, it's not roadworks, two people have died, that must have been a bit of a shock. Yeah, it was it was a bit of a shock. Because we um we was down here and we didn't think anything of it. And then we was like debating whether to even open up today in case we couldn't get no parts for the cars or nothing. So yeah, it was a bit strange.